Hello, Facebook. Happy Tuesday evening. I hope you're all doing well. You had a great day at work if you've got a job. I can tell you I've been in uh, a personal development class with my one of my mentors, Nirka, for the last four days. Absolutely amazing students. Huge transformations going on. It's just amazing. Uh, you may have seen also today I posted about my book. I haven't posted about my book in a, many, a long time. But uh, if anybody is looking for answers on life and if you're feeling stuck, it's a great place to get started. Uh, it's just, uh, it's an amazing world we live in. We live in a world of infinite possibilities. If you're seeing like there's no answers, I don't know what I can do, and, and that kind of place, or you've got troubles with relationships, I can tell you that is also a good place of some really good ways to get started and, and looking at life in a different way. Hi, Angela. And it's sure enough, as soon as I start alive, the wind starts up again. <laughs> it never fails, right? But the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick was I made a post a couple days ago and it got liked and shared by a lot of people. And it was talking about how family and friends will tend to be the ones that, that hold you down. Oh, thank you, Angela, for saying that. Um, yeah, that family and friends will be sometimes the ones that actually hold you back and hold you down. And I had one person asking me, well, why is that? And one of my first reactions to that is if you become successful, if you surpass where they're at, then maybe they look at themselves like, well, maybe I should have done more with my life. So I hate that word failure, but maybe they look upon themselves as a failure if you're going to succeed, right? And then if they told you no, or if they said, oh, man, you're crazy, and then you go out and achieve it, how does that make them look, right? So there's a couple things. There's a lot of psychology going on within the minds of people when they're holding you back. And I can tell you family and friends are some of the worst. I can remember when I started this journey of network marketing uh, 20 plus years ago, how many people told us that we were crazy. And, and I can tell you the ones that spoke the loudest were my family and friends. And uh, the people that I thought were really dear, the people that I thought would just jump on board, man, let's go do this together and have a great time. Let's build that team. Let's just, let's just have fun, right? And they were the first ones to say no. And I'm like, what? Why? <laughs> right? I couldn't understand it. But one thing Elka and I did was go beyond that, right? We saw the vision of what's possible and we know that if somebody else is able to do it, we can figure out how they did it and then go and duplicate what they did, right? And that's what we love doing now is helping people overcome those no's in the beginning with the family and friends and just move along. Now, that is speaking, that is, um, what's a stereotypical type of uh, take on that? Because also understand, there's a lot of families that get involved in network marketing as an entire family. And it's so cool when you go to live events and you see the whole family there. I mean, sometimes there's 20, 30 people within the family that are all there celebrating and, and high-fiving each other together. So it's not true that all the family and friends are going to hold you back, right? But, you know, a lot of times that is what happens. And if your vision is strong enough, so then the next day I posted about, or two days later, I posted yesterday, I posted about the vision pulling you like a magnet, right? And it's got a meme of a guy being bent by the magnet, being pulled by the vision. And if your vision's strong enough, like Elka's and ours was, then you will find a way to make it happen. And those no's or the naysayers, that's your problem, not mine, because I know where I'm going, right? Do you think a person like Elon Musk had a lot of naysayers with any of his ventures? I can tell you with PayPal, if you've read his book, you understand the whole process behind PayPal and all the naysayers. They told him he was crazy. What do you mean online banking? Are you crazy? Nobody would ever do that. That was Elon Musk's vision that made that a reality that we all live with as a normalcy today, but he was naysayed. And so I encourage you, and I don't care if you are in a network marketing or not in a network marketing. I mean, this is us, 
right? And we got a revolutionary product coming out this fall that's just going to blow the doors off of the health and wellness industry. And so if that's something you're interested in or you'd like to start making money on a monthly basis, then maybe network marketing is for you. If, you're, if you've tried it before, I encourage you to try it again with us because we will lead you into success. But, um, or if you know somebody that is a professional network marketer even, send them our way because they're going to want to be on board before the announcement that we have coming in this early winter, uh, maybe late fall. So, but I don't care if it's network marketing or anything. If you have a dream, if you have a vision you want to go after, then go after it. All right. Don't let family and friends tell you that's stupid. Don't do You'll never, you'll never make it. Whatever else. I mean, that that post a couple days ago that I was referring to was all about, Hey, and when you're a child, the parents or the family and friends are like, you can do anything. You can be an astronaut. You can be a fireman. You can be a professor, whatever you want to do. The world's your oyster. Right. And then as you age, <laughs> it seems to change a little bit. And so at the beginning of live, I was kind of explaining why that may be. Hi, Rusty. Good to see you on here. And Glenn, um, so anyhow, I just encourage you. I want to give you inspiration that if you have a dream and if you have a vision and the belief behind it that, yes, you can do this, then go for it. And if you're not quite there yet, work on your vision, work on your dream. I'll go back, read my book to help understand how the mind works, how you can start reprogramming yourself for success to allow that success to come into your lives. I mean, people scoffed at me. I can't tell you how many people laughed at me. I was in a very tough industry as a fighter pilot, right? And, and we're, fighter pilots are all about ego and all about getting the mission done. They're not about trying to be a salesperson, right? <laughs> so you can just imagine the kickback I got from my fighter pilot friends. And I had lunch with one of them I hadn't seen in, we've, I don't know, something like 25, 30 years. I had lunch with him er, uh, on Friday, Thursday or Friday, Thursday, I think it was. And he's like, it really worked? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it really worked. I was able to retire seven years early. He's like, you're retired? I'm like, yeah, because he goes, you're flying for Southwest, right? I'm like, no, I, I retired two years ago. <laughs> That's seven years early. He's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it really worked. And it's because we had the vision, we had the desire to learn and to grow and to help others do the same. So yeah, you can laugh all you want. But nobody should ever, or somebody can laugh at you all they want, but nobody should ever steal your dream from you. Hey, Lori, good to see you out of Florida. Um, exactly. Oh, yes. Well, it's a little bit longer and I can see here, but I'm going to read the rest of it later. But I'm so proud of you and all you've been able to accomplish. Lori is an amazing guitarist. If you know of anybody that needs lessons, I don't know if you're doing it virtually or not, but check out Lori Marcel. She is an amazing guitarist. We met back when I was in college and uh, I had a mini crush on her. Yes, I did <laughs> back then. She was an amazing guitarist. Anyhow, off, off, the, uh, off the topic. But look, no, actually it's not. Take a look at Lori, right? Uh, here she is, starts an all-girl band in Florida, playing the, the spring break crowds and others during, during the non-spring spring break tour, tour parts or time parts. But she had a vision and she went for it. She didn't let anybody tell her that she couldn't achieve it. No, she had the belief in herself and in her skills and talents. And she surrounded herself with people that believed in her. And that's what propelled that band into stardom. I mean, they were, they were amazing. So it's a great example. So thank you so much, Lori, for jumping on and, and sharing a little bit of your own story there as well. So I guess that's been long enough. Anyhow, don't ever, ever, ever let anyone steal your dream. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.